And welcome back folks to another exciting episode of Let's Play Gothic. We're still in the old mine being a total jerk to everybody except for a handful of immortals. Yes, Asgarn here is one of the immortals. So is Ian up above and at some point they're gonna have to square off with each other to decide who will be left. However, there's a bit of trouble with Asgarn here. He won't like us attacking the diggers nearby, so let's leave them be. Yeah, can't do that. However, we can probably beat up some more diggers up here, and once that's done, we can actually leave. He's had enough. And you too, my friend. Rest a while. Yeah. Also, I just figured out how to get up to that balcony. I remember when I first came here, I didn't remember how to get up to the balcony above. It's actually pretty easy since there's a ladder right there next to the gate. This one right here, obviously. Okay, but I doubt that Asgan will like me attacking diggers up on the balcony either, so let's not do that. Instead, we're gonna climb up to the last one and uh, deal cu a couple of blows to those guys and then we can get the hell out of here, finally. Yeah. Again, nobody's too miffed uh, that we... Oh god. Nobody's too miffed that we uh, beat up people, but... Um, yeah. As, at least as long as we don't kill anybody. That's always the caveat. Okay, jump, jump, jump! No, you didn't jump. Yeah, this is troublesome somehow. But I know that I got up here, and it's kind of like in the mountain fort. So I'm just gonna try and jump as quickly as possible. Oh, yes, there we go. And all that to beat up a poor guy. There. At least they get replacement pickaxes, clearly, because uh, I see them working. Even though I took theirs. Come on, let me loot. Thank you. And I think that has to be it. Right. I mean, you can basically, basically you can beat up everybody who isn't immortal. You can beat up everybody in all the camps if you want. And it's actually a useful thing to do. To train. On the other hand, it doesn't really matter when you do it. Because, as I think I explained at some point, beating up the same person twice doesn't get you anything anymore. So, really don't, just don't do it, you know, it's not necessary. Which also means that we can always beat up these people at a later date. But I figured, while we were here, let's get it done. Now we should have enough experience to become a sneak now. And I want to learn that, so we can deal with the thugs in, uh, near, near the control canyon, those, those guys who, uh, a real trouble and then we can maybe visit them at night I don't know if they're actually gonna sleep then or not but if they do then uh, yeah that would be helpful at least because then I can get in close and attack them with the sword without having so much to worry about with all their arrows um, I'm really not very well protected against arrows at all. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Probably the shortest way. Let's go. Beating up people here is a bit safer and so far as you aren't gonna risk causing any trouble with anybody else, really outside the mine, because, well, guess what? There we go. Because what happens inside the mine stays within it, more or less. Hello. Oh, lots of lights everywhere. Pretty. Let's try and, um, actually... Why don't we pay a visit to Aiden? He's one of the other hunters, just like Drax. 
I think he can train us in sneaking too. And also, I believe we haven't beaten him up yet. Yes. Yes, that's how we do it. We'll beat him up. And first let him train us, maybe. This whole path should be pretty safe now. I don't think any monsters or animals or bandits or anything like that should come back here. Unless I missed something earlier. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Would really like to learn more mana stuff, but right now I think we're gonna stick with sneaking. Okay. Oh wait, Aiden is not actually in the new game. That was loud. Okay. Hmm. But here's some more people that we haven't beaten up yet. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Hello, my friend. He's had enough. He's had enough. I don't know why you felt compelled to help, but this guy right here did not. Whatever. Sad performance. A tiny gust of wind, and he would have toppled over anyway. Indeed. Let's see how you guys are doing. Sad performance. <laughs> Sad performance. Yeah. You can guard with your fists, can't you? Eh, it's called a fist guard. No. What? No. Anybody up here? Who needs a beating? Uh, no. Doesn't appear to be the case. Hello. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or <laughs> come back any time, brother. <laughs> I don't know where he magic that extra ore from. Maybe he had it stuffed away somewhere where I couldn't find it. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> touch it though. Oh. Nah, it's probably just a hidden compartment somewhere. Also, he's mellow. He doesn't mind. As long as we bring him more drugs, he doesn't mind. I guess we haven't actually been down this canyon to the right yet, but we can do that later. Let's go to Aiden first. Aiden? Aiden? Yeah, I don't know. The guy. Let's go to the dude. Who does the hunting things. I think he can teach us to sneak. Or, otherwise, if he can't, then Kavalon can. The, uh, the hunter of the old camp. Who's nearby here, too. Hello. He can't teach me to sneak. You're useless. I'm disappointed in you, Aiden. Let's see what you have. Ah, stuff. And it's pretty damn dark, so why don't we try out the light spell that we bought a while ago. We have plenty of those, actually. So it's a little... You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Right. It's a little orb of light. Until you actually cast it. Then it's gonna grow quite a bit. See that? Yeah. And yeah, you can see that it follows you around. So it doesn't actually hinder you in any way while you're fighting or whatever you might be doing. Where the hell am I? Uh, where did I go? Oh, that's a lizard. I think I took a wrong turn. It's still worth going here, but not sure what's up. Also, note that ah, we are, we're right next to the lake. Okay. Also, note that the light is very different. It's uh, not like torchlight at all. It's more like, um, well, maybe sunlight. I don't know. It, it, it actually rather colder than sunlight, but uh, it's not yellowish at least. Whatever. The, the difference between a uh, an old light bulb and those newfangled LED ones, you know. Some people say that the LED light bulbs are really cold in their light. I guess that's true, but um, they, you know, you get used to it, to that different light quality, I think. Plus, 
it's just so much more energy uh, effective, you know, because the, the regular light bulbs, they just produce so much actual heat, not just warm light, but actual heat. It's such a waste of, of energy, whatever. <laughs> You've a... given me a fair thrashing, man. It was a good fight, but now it's over. Indeed it is. Um, yeah, I guess that was a weird tangent. Can you teach me something about hunting? That depends. What do you want to know? I want to know how to change my voice so quickly as well. Sneaking! I want to learn how to sneak around. Good idea. That's most important if you want to enter hunts to get at somebody from behind. Yeah. If you bend your knees when walking, you can see the floor better, and you have better control over your body as well. But everybody will notice you in this posture, so make sure nobody sees you when you sneak around. Keep in mind what I told you, and above all, Never get caught. Thanks a lot. Hmm. That's weird. I mean, he, he talks about uh, getting behind somebody and attacking them. And yeah, of course, you can use it for that. But I would have expected a hunter to be talking about hunting creatures. Okay, anyway. How do we sneak? Uh, um, how, how does that work again? Ah. This is how it works. Okay. So, like this, animals will... At least animals that sleep at night won't wake up as you get closer. Uh, people shouldn't notice you, at least if you sneak up behind them. If they do look at you, of course, then they'll get super suspicious. I mean, like, neutral or friendly people will get suspicious if you sneak around where they are. Um, and enemies will simply attack you if they spot you. But still, sneaking is very useful. Plus, it's, I think, the only way to be good at, or to pickpocket at all. Um, not that I do that. Because I usually just beat people up rather than pickpocket from them. But there you go. Here's the guards without weapons. I mean, maybe we can uh, we can test it out on them. Um. I didn't see anything. Good, he's turned away. Let's see if we can maybe steal from him. No, I guess I'm not a thief. I'm I can't pickpocket, so I don't know what to do. Do we have anything? No. Right. Uh, very effective guards, those. Let's continue then. Let's see if we can actually. I mean, it's still night time. How much time do we have left? Oh, it's already early morning hours, 3.30, but we might be able to get into the camp in time. Uh, I don't know how he knows what time it is so exactly, so precisely, 3.30. I mean, he doesn't have a watch, does he? But, um, so very helpful. It's clear that time is running out. We'll see if we can maybe sneak in. I am honestly not certain what this light bulb will do now that I have it above me. I and mean, you'd think that I'd be much easier to spot. Oh, there's the guy running. Uh, it might actually not have any effect as long as I sneak. I'm not sure though. Okay, this guy's just running into the camp. I don't think he can actually... Oh, okay, the light has gone out anyway. Doesn't matter then. Right, and don't think this guy will alert anybody or something like that. That would that would really surprise me. Okay, let's get into sneaking then. Let's see if uh, if there's actually a chance of getting in closer. Of course, this will take a while, rather long while, but there you go. Okay, strafe sneaking. No, they are all awake. When are you going to sleep, you fools? Yellow? Okay. That's one guy down. But there's a lot more guys. That's a problem, really. Uh, hmm. Plus, I didn't loot him, so he still has his weapons. That's a problem. That's a really big problem. How? I'm not going to defeat three guys. Who are all pointing their bows at me by running into them. Now it's four guys. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Okay, he seems to have some potions too, so he's probably 
gonna heal up. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was stupid. Shouldn't have done that. Hmm. Oh god, how can they shoot me from around the corner? Did he just leave his bow lying there? Okay, I guess I, I'm not... I don't need to be worried about one of them, at least. He left his bow lying there on the ground, so... He's not gonna be any trouble in that regard, at least. Let's see what else we can do. We could just try to drop down, I suppose? Uh, there's also a palisade of some sort. We could use that for cover. I'm probably making this way more complicated than it has to be, but the fact that they aren't actually going to sleep causes me some trouble. My plan, my beautiful plan. It's, uh... I can see four people, five people with bows. Let's see if I can drop down here. I can. Of course, now I'm kind of stuck behind enemy lines, so this might be a big mistake. Oh, God. Um... How are you shooting me through the wall? I guess my calculations were wrong, were off, or whatever. Let's just stuff our faces some more. Eat, eat, eat. Come on. Okay, let's look around a bit. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's a... Uh, What's wrong with their bows? There's like two, four, six, seven people, and I think six of them still have bows. Okay. Oh no, it's more like, it's more like ten or something. Oh god, they're all gonna loot me. Thanks for the ore. I'll drink to you. Because I'm a corpse. Bugger. Okay, so, honestly, I don't see this happening. Uh, not like this, no. I, I was sure they would go to sleep at some point. Hmm. Maybe later. Maybe later I can go here. I, I wonder. Do I have something to protect me against arrows? Magic, weapons, 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 fire. No, I don't have anything. There are actually um, similar items to protect you against projectiles. So you could just, you know, I guess stock up on those and hope to make it through the hail of arrows, but I don't know. Well, you should just come back later when we have armor <laughs> rather than just a loincloth. Okay. No, I can't sneak, but I don't have any more mana than I had earlier. So I'm gonna need a lot of uh, experience before I get another level up is the problem. I'm gonna have to do some more exploration, I feel. Did I loot you guys? I did not. Why didn't I beat you up yet? Rely on somebody, you're in. He's not enough. Yeah. Thanks, Drax, for your instructions and for my all back. Yep. I'm a jerk. There we go. Bye. Hmm. You know, while I'm being a jerk again, let's not ignore the friendly folk at the exchange site. There's a couple of guards there who are completely isolated from everybody else. Why don't we pay them a short visit and, uh, you know, knock some heads? Hmm. Don't think there's a direct connection from here to anywhere else that's interesting, so I'm gonna have to follow the path back down later, but yeah, it's not that far. Especially not while jumping like this. You must be really fit to jump roll up a hill, but okay. Okay, how many people are there? There's these two folks. And I, actually, I think that's all there is. I think that's all. Yeah. 
Uh. Yellow, one of you has a crossbow. You go down first. Oh, both of you have crossbows. Bastard. Did not realize that. There. Good enough. Yeah. That'll be alright. And it's not like they actually need to guard this place. The new camp doesn't want to trade anyway. And uh, the swamp camp doesn't have a source of ore, so... Bah. Guess they will need some guarding once another caravan or for the old camp starts, but... Uh, oh well. Right, um... A couple of places I would actually like to go. For instance, you may remember that there was this tower, actually like in this direction along the coast, with skeletons in it. And last time I got my ass handed to me there. But um, since then we've grown a bit and got a better weapon and I mean we did defeat a lot of skeletons and zombies uh, down in the sunken tower. So maybe we can actually pull this off now. I think it's worth a try, don't you? So let's make our way over there and of course before we actually go inside we're gonna need to eat a lot of stuff. Also what's in this side area? I don't think I've ever on here. It looks pretty damn barren. Almost all barren. <laughs> uh, that was a terrible pun. Didn't even make any sense. Although, to be fair, there really isn't any ore here. Mm. Okay. Can, have I defeated the snappers around here? I don't even remember anymore. Oh, there's a lurker. I just clearly have not defeated you. I wonder if they're snappers, because um, I remember that they tore me apart earlier. So it might be worth killing them now. After this lurker is done, of course. And at some point we're actually going to have to face a shadow uh, beast as well, I think. If only because we're not going to get much stronger uh, in fighting, except for some more strength, maybe, at some point. Hello. Yeah, it was kind of sad. Okay, now the rain will make it a bit difficult to spot them, but yes, there are our snappers. Okie dokie, or at least one. Nope, two. Okay. Okie dokie. I should be able to do this. I mean, I keep saying that, but then snappers are horrible. <laughs> Okie dokie, that, that really went well. Of course, that also means I can explore up here eventually, doesn't it? Because uh, those snappers were blocking my my entrance earlier. See, that's the thing. Once you get strong enough, you all these new avenues open up. You can explore everywhere, more or less. Pretty good. Oh god. Two at once. Okay, two at once. Fine. As long as there's not like five or something. <laughs> Oh god. <sighs> yeah, still horrible creatures though. Even when you do kind of defeat them. Relatively easily. I mean, uh, they still tear something out of you, don't they? Okay. It's kind of weird to just run around exploring randomly. I mean, there's no clear connectivity to any of this. We're gonna re revisit a lot of these places, but... We're not actually supposed to go here yet, I don't think. I mean, we're supposed to just join up with the camp. Instead, we're gonna do all this. <sighs> okay. This is trouble. Okay. You're gonna fall down all the way, don't you? Yep, you are. Okay. 
And so yeah, you okay? But you're still alive, I assume. Okay. Well, that means we're gonna retreat and see about finding the corpse and the still living snapper down below. Might be a good idea anyway to uh, clear clear that part out in case we ever fall down or something. Okay, now one of ah, there it is. Okay, I think there were actually more snappers back here as well. It's slowly floating down, look at that. The corpse is still moving. How many are there? In the direct vicinity, just one. <laughs> slowly descending from heaven. And now it dropped. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Oh god, another one is coming. I really need to eat something now because I'm getting dangerously close to getting killed by these. God, this heals barely anything. Cheese, eat cheese. Cheese is healthy. More cheese. Okay, that's enough cheese. Oh god, this one actually already almost died. Okay, I don't understand. Maybe this was the one that dropped down actually, I don't know. Okay, more food. I can eat some more root soup. It's not very tasty apparently, but at least it, uh, it's something. Yeah, we can eat some more rice before we go into that tunnel there. Man, we're rich now. Really are. I mean, I could probably buy half the old camp with at this point. Two more, eh? Fine. Not a problem, I hope. One at a time? Anybody? Any takers? How is it raining in here? I'm inside a cave. This is the second time this happened. It's not supp- Let me look. Actually, is there- Like, I don't know. I I'll have to check again once this thing is dead. Maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe there's actually a, a hole there where the, uh, the cave weeds. No, there's no hole. Never mind. I was not being unfair. It just messed up. It could have been more like a canyon, less like a cave, but I guess it isn't. Anything else? Oh, some random loot. Might be useful. You never know. Ah, it has a lock, but it's open. What is that? Transform into meat bug. That sounds useless. Uh, monastery ruins key. Okay. <laughs> Why would I want to transform into meat bug? I have to assume that I'd be killed in one blow then by pretty much anybody. I mean, maybe you can like sneak into places or crawl under places. That could be it. No. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, that might be useful to do. And if you were to be a spy, it would be awesome. Imagine just uh, transforming into a meat bug and then crawling like through a tiny hole in in a door, and then listening in on some I don't know military plans or whatever you are spying about. Climb up and uh, kill this one, please. Yeah, come here. Oh, there's still more, is there? Come here. Oh, he lost interest. No, he didn't. What are you doing? Nice! Yet more mana incoming, folks. We will become a good magician. Probably before we ever join with any of the camps, we will be able to cast a couple of useful spells. At least if I can actually deal with the uh, golems. Yeah. Because once I have enough mana, then we can hope to destroy the ice golem, which will probably give me an ice spell. 
an ice golem heart, which will carry an ice spell. And if anything else shows up, I don't know, maybe something... Who knows, you know, it's not like there's ice and fire, for instance, I don't know, just guessing here. Um, then maybe this ice golem heart will be helpful. Why are they always aggressive? Didn't help you at least, but still. You're supposed to crawl up to me and let me get the first hit in. It's not nice of you to be so aggressive. Okay, so there's the tower that I meant. But we're gonna check out this place first, I suppose. Oh. Ah, <laughs> yes, I get ya. Meat bugs. I just hope these are actual meat bugs, but yeah, these are an obvious hint, aren't they? There's meat bugs here, there's a tiny hole in the wall, and you can, like, go through there, I think. Um, I'm not sure about actually doing that, though. We'll, 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 we'll try it. I might be messing stuff up, though. Mm. You never know. Let's give it a try. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. I can't do anything besides walk. I can't climb or jump or fight or anything. Shall we attack the snappers? Du -du -du -du! I'm gonna rush at the snappers and destroy them all. No, I don't, I don't like actually, will they attack me or will they ignore me? I wonder. I, I actually want to try this out. Will you ignore me or will you attack me? Because I'm really just a tiny bug. Hello? You... I think they really don't want to... I'm just a bug. They really don't care. That's cool. It makes sense. I mean, they wouldn't know that I'm not really a bug. Oh, I can even walk backwards. That's yeah, really nice. <laughs> kind of controls like a tank, if you will. Wish I could jump as a bug. That would be really cute. Hop, hop. Okay, we should be far enough away, and I think you can just transform back. There. I still have another meat bug scroll. I'm gonna leave that alone. Can I activate this? Yes, it's open. Okie dokie. I think I didn't break anything by doing this now. Okay. You come here. This is Snapper Central, man. This is like the most snapper intensive area I've been to. Must have a nest somewhere. Yeah, that went well. Okay. What are these statues? I'm gonna have to check them out in a moment. Oh, not too many at the same time, please. Okay, that's better. Just one. That's good. They are huge. And they seem familiar. They don't seem human. We'll see. Let's check that out now. Yes. See that? That's an orc statue. Who put it here, I wonder? You can kill the rest of the snappers in a moment. Ah, another one of these strange places. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this place is called the Monastery Ruins, yet they have orc statues. I wonder if this was, well, an orcish temple monastery of some sort? I mean, we know that the orcs have quite a culture, but it looks like something humans built, doesn't it? Hey, wait, wait, what? Where did the snappers go? Oh god, I think I know what- What the frigging- Where did they come from? They just teleported in. Oh god, this is horrible. What was that? That's not acceptable. Okay. 
Okay, that was way too close. But only because it was three at the same frigging time. I don't normally do that. Unless I have armor. <laughs> okay. Eat. Eat up. I have a hundred rice thingies. That's a lot. Just takes a while to heal up, unfortunately. Oh boy. Okay. That should be sufficient, I hope. I have a suspicion what happened there, but I'm not sure. I thought there were... Now again, one other is missing somehow. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought there was like a fifth snapper still left. But hang on, I, I'm, I'm just confused at this point, so just ignore me. Well, it's not really that easy when I'm constantly babbling, but there you go. There's the beach with the broken ship. I think there were fire lizards there, or fire salamanders or something like that. Hmm, might be trouble. Okay, we can climb up there. Can go into... Oh god, there's so many more snappers here. Okay, I can't risk it. I need to actually be topped off before I can try this, I think. Come on, eat, eat. If you eat tons of rice, then you're not going to be hindered at all in your combat prowess. At this point, he should just roll over his enemies and kill them that way, but I guess he has a rather quick metabolism. Okay. Uh, where... Come on. Yeah, there's one. That's a lot of freaking snappers, I tell you. Come here. And we can climb up there later. Let's first deal with these snappers before they start biting me again by teleporting in. Okay. That's one. Any other takers? Oh, not all three at the same time. Let's not do that again. Crud. They didn't listen. Okay. Let's kill the lead one quickly, I hope. Nope. Let's kill the other one then. Works too. That went a lot better than I could have hoped for, really. The fact that they sidestepped so much meant that uh, they didn't really get anything done, luckily. And this might be all the snappers then. At least down here. Or is there another cave back there? Oh, it actually does go deeper. Brr. Not sure what to think about that. Is there anything around this corner? No. No, oh god, it's a shadow beast. Okay, we are gonna try it. Yeah, I I'm gonna risk it. I mean, it's currently stuck walking into walls, so. Oh god. Might work. Whoa! Suddenly, it's all anticlimactic. Skin of a shadow beast. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, that means we can now hunt a lot of other creatures, too. We are a lot stronger than we ever were before. And here's some stuff. What the hell? Mold rat ore and what is that? Focus from the ruined monastery. One of the five focus stones which were used to create the magic barrier. That seems important. I'm gonna pick that up. Don't know what to do with it yet, but it might be important. And more transformation spells. It seems that this monastery was really into transformations, wasn't it? Meat bugs, mole rats, wolves, all sorts of stuff. Transformation, unfortunately, is only a... Uh, is, I think, only available in scrolls forms. So, always limited in number. Also, I just noticed that all the transformations are yellow in color. I don't know what they stand for. I mean, the other four are easy. Red Inos, Blue Adanos, uh, Purple Belia, 
green is the sleeper. Uh, but what yellow stands for, I really have no clue. Okay, let's climb up here. Maybe it's not any god, maybe it's neutral or something. Maybe there's a god of transformation or some other entity, I don't know. Okay, what's going on here? Huh. Can I knock this over? It looks like it's supposed to be knocked over, honestly. Seems I can't do it, though. Hmm. I am acrobatic, though. I wonder. I'm gonna try all sorts of things. Let's try and jump over there, shall we? Nope. Okay, that didn't work. When we come back, we are not gonna do that. Bye!